Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well today. Hope you had a great week. Now listen, Ryan, Skyler, and Bubba are gonna share a story with you today and gonna talk a little bit about uh, Mother's Day. I hope y'all remember that today's Mother's Day and I hope you've already told your moms Happy Mother's Day. Well, anyway, let's say a quick word of prayer and then I'm gonna turn it over to these guys. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much that we can have another time with the kids today. Thank you so much that it's Mother's Day and that we get to celebrate our moms. I just pray that this would be a great day and that uh, everyone would have a great time with their moms and also enjoy this, this time with uh, our, our friends, with Ryan, Skyler, and Bubba. Thank you so much for this uh, opportunity and just pray that you bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. Hey, by the way, Skyler and Bubba and Ryan, why don't y'all say hey to the kids? Hey, kids. Hey, everybody. All right. I'm going to turn it over to these guys now. You enjoy. Did you guys know it's Mother's Day today? It is. What do we do on Mother's Day? We celebrate because our mothers gave birth to us. I thought we did that on Labor Day. I'm pretty sure that's something different. What are we supposed to do on Mother's Day then? We're supposed to do things that will make our mothers happy. Like cook meals, clean up, buy her things, and take care of her. Wow, that's a lot of work. I don't know if I could do all that. And besides, it's not fair. What's not fair? Well, there's a Mother's Day during the year, but there's no Kids Day. I think we should have a day, a special day just for kids. Good point. And what would mothers do for Kids Day? The same thing that we do for them on Mother's Day. Cook for us, clean up, buy us stuff, and take care of us. Really? What? Think about it. What's to think about? Our mothers already do that for us every day? Oh, yeah. So basically every day is Kids Day. Yeah, except for today and Father's Day and Grandparents Day. And what about... Okay, let's get back to Mother's Day. We get 364 days a year and our mothers only get one. What? We better make this day special. Last year, I forgot to buy her a present, and she said I was the best present she could ever have. My dad says he only gets her something that she can return. My dad told me he picked us up at the kid's store. I don't think I'm returnable. I think she lost the receipt. <laughs> what do mothers like? My mom likes it when I play outside all day. Usually that's after I bugged her with a million questions about Nerf guns and dude perfect tricks. Come to think of it, that's all the time. My mom likes it when I keep my room clean and when I help with the dishes after dinner. My mom is happy when I play with my little sister, but I'm getting a little tired of having tea parties. Yeah, I play Legos and throw the baseball with my brother sometimes. I think mom likes it when we all get along nicely. I know my mom likes it when I stop and give her a great big hug. Those are things we can do every day, but what special things can we do for our moms on Mother's Day? I can make her a card and tell her how much I appreciate all the things she does for me. I can help my dad grill the steaks for her lunch. I want to tell my mom how much I love her. I'm not sure how. Isn't there something in the Bible about this? Pastor David, will you come help us? Sure, guys. Uh, you know, listen, in Deuteronomy 5, 16, and actually in several other places, the Bible says to honor your father and your mother. And that means to appreciate and respect them, to obey them, and to be thankful for them. And all of those things you mentioned are great ways to show that honor and show how much you love your mom. Okay, so by obeying right away when my mom asks me to do something, I can show her how much I love her. I'm going to do a better job obeying. Yes, I, I'm sure your mom will really appreciate it if you do just what you're supposed to do every day. And do it without complaining or fussing. And also, you know what? That'll make her happy and it will please God. Thanks, Pastor David. Today, we learned a lot of ways we can honor our moms. Not just on Mother's Day, but every day. That's right, guys. Hey, boys and girls, 
I hope you'll obey your mom today and do something special for her. And don't forget, wish her a happy Mother's Day. You guys have a great day with your mom and uh, have a lot of fun today, okay? We'll see you next time. Bye, kids. Bye. And remember, kids, God made you special and he loves you very much.